Well, what do you know? Those stones are diamonds. Hi everybody, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to unbox a mystery box of jewelry. Today's mystery box of jewelry is from Threda. This particular box is a 15 piece box of jewelry. They also offer five to 10 pound boxes of bulk jewelry. And typically the 15 piece has more premium pieces in it. I am a full-time seller on eBay and one of the things I love to sell is jewelry. So when I unbox these mystery jewelry boxes, I'm always hoping to find some pieces that I can sell in my eBay store. Let's get started and open up this box. Got everything set up here. Let's get ready to open this box, but first we're checking to see where it's from. Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Here's what it looks like from the outside. We're about to dig in right now. The first bag I'm pulling out is this one. It looks like there's a pair of earrings and a matching necklace here from Talbot's. Let's see. Brand new on the card, this is a pair of dangle earrings, oval shaped dangles with an ivory and navy blue pattern. And see the back. The back is the same. So they're double-sided earrings, silver tone earring wire. And the price looks like it's been removed. So there are the earrings, they're pretty. Here's the matching necklace with the same design charm on there, the ivory and blue enamel painted charm. Really pretty silver tone box chain. Now this is definitely brand new and you can see the part of the Talbot's tag has been cut off of this one. Here is the end of the necklace. There's the cut off Talbot's tag there. It has a lobster clasp. I'm not seeing the typical jewelry tag from Talbot's which is a charm with a letter T. But here's a closer look at the box chain. It's a very attractive piece. It's pretty long. It's a very attractive set. I think I could sell this in my eBay store. Oh, and by the way, if you see anything in this video that you would be interested in purchasing, you can drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. I've got my email address on the screen right here. That's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com and we can work something out. Here comes the next item. It looks like a big statement necklace. Let's see, let's get a closer look. Indeed, this is a statement necklace. This is a five layered necklace with ivory colored faux pearls. There are round coin shaped mother of pearl beads and the metal is gold tone as you can see. This part here is Rolo Tone, and then we have linked pearls, just all sorts of things going on with this necklace. It's very attractive. This gives you a better look up close at all the components. The necklace is finished with an extender here and a lobster clasp, and here is a jewelry tag. The jewelry tag is Julie B, which is a fashion costume line. What I'm probably going to do with this necklace is put it in a bulk lot of jewelry. I'm starting to make jewelry lots that aren't not craft lots, but wearable jewelry that I've decided for one reason or another not to list in my eBay store. Coming out next is a bag with a ring in it. Well, that's very pretty. There's a rectangular cut stone and three stones on each side. Silver tone. Let's size it. This is a size seven. Next, let's see what those marks are in there. That says 10K, 10 carat. Let's keep looking. And on the interior of the ring on the other side, it's stamped LGL and then a copyright. With that 10 carat stamp in there, I definitely have to try the magnet to see if there's an attraction. And there isn't one. Well, I just looked into the solds on eBay for LGL 10 carat ring. Really interesting. I'll pop on the screen right here what I found for the first three solds and they were all pre-owned. 
and hopefully you can see that they went for anywhere from $52 to around $150. Wow, I am impressed. It looks like LGL Lear Gem or something, the LGL. I don't know what the last L stands for. I'll definitely look into it even further, but I'm pretty pleased about this very gorgeous ring. The next bag coming out is a pair of earrings. These earrings are really attractive. Oval shaped, open work. I see a floral design in there. I think that could be a Flor de Lis or maybe just the flowers. I, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm seeing there, but they are really super pretty. I think those earring backs have to go. I can definitely change those out. I'm going to take the magnet and do that initial test to see if maybe they could be precious metal, sterling silver, and it looks like the magnet is not attracted. Now I'm going to look closer. I'm going to turn them over and see what we see. Okay, no doubt they are 925 and I need to know what that symbol is. Everybody see that right there? Now I just need to know what that symbol is right there. I do not recognize it. And I could use your help if you do recognize what that jewelry mark is there. Please let me know down in the comment section. Depending on what that jewelry mark turns out to be, I will know what price point to set on these earrings when I list them, but they're definitely getting listed. Really gorgeous pair of earrings. Let's see what the next piece is. This is sparkly. This is a blingy thingy. Now, this is a suede, and I do believe it is authentic suede. It's not faux suede or faux leather. This is full of sparkle, looks like crystals, and different shades of blue. It's actually very pretty, and I'm thinking this is a wrap bracelet, and it has the snaps on the end, so I'm gonna try this on. This is what the bracelet looks like on, and the snaps have clear crystals right there. Isn't this pretty? I love the way it sparkles. All of the crystals seem to be there, which is great. Nothing missing. Now I'm going to search to see if I can find any kind of jewelry mark on this. Looking closer at the snap, I don't see anything there. And, ah, there's something right there. This would be so easy to miss, but do you see that little swan? That is the Swarovski logo. You can probably see that this bracelet is in excellent condition. In fact, I don't see any signs of wear at all. So I will do my research as far as figuring out the listing price. And this beautiful bracelet is definitely going to be listed. What do we think about this box so far, guys? I'm very pleased. I think it's, there have been some interesting pieces so far and I'm happy. Let's move on to the next piece. Here's the next bag, a pair of earrings. Let's take them out. This is a petite pair of earrings, <laughs> awfully sweet. They are a brass tone cube with a dangle of like a pewter or antique silver tone color uh, charm. That little charm dangling off there reminds me of a beehive. Let me just check the magnet with these guys and there is a pull so I'm not expecting them to be precious metal. There's an up close look at the earrings. Here is the back of the earring and there's no mark on these. These are awfully cute petite little earrings. I have to find a back to go on them. They came just like that without a back. But I have to think about whether I'm gonna sell these or not. Following those petite earrings is this not so petite piece here. It looks like a necklace. Let's open up the bag.
This is definitely not petite. This is the kind of necklace that's really hard to show you when it's laying on the table. I'm going to see what I can do about that. Here's what the necklace looks like. It's not perfect on that little necklace form, but much better than trying to lay it out on the table. Here's what those big crystals look like. They're clear faceted crystals, and you can see the big chunky rhinestones going up and the swag chain going all the way up. And by the way, this necklace is longer than it actually appears on the form because I have it tied in the back. It, it would be too long to try to lay it out on the neck form. So this is what it would look like on, and please excuse the painter's tape holding my backdrop. <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you on the neck form. We're back on the tabletop and showing you the end of the necklace. It is finished with a lobster clasp. The impressive thing about this necklace, and please pardon the way that it's kind of laying there, um, is that it feels really well made. It's got a substantial weight to it. Of course, all the stones are there, and I just can't believe there is no maker's mark. I am just thinking maybe it could have fallen off. It just feels really nice. Couldn't find a maker's mark anywhere, nowhere on the back, but it's just even the crystals feel great. They're definitely not plastic, they're glass. And I don't know what to say about this. Uh, it's too bad there's no maker's mark on it, but it's a really lovely piece. Coming out next, it looks like a pair of earrings. This is a fun pair of earrings made with navy blue seed beads. There's gold tone metal. There's a cap that has covered in seed beads there. And then a little round bead covered with seed beads at the top. And of course, the lever back ear wires. These are really fun earrings. They remind me a lot of bobble bar style, but I don't see any mark on them anywhere. They're fun. They've got a lot of movement in the tassel there. I am going to go ahead and list these. I just think they're really cute. Here comes the next piece, and I really do appreciate that each piece is individually bagged like this, and I do reuse these bags. We have a bracelet here. Let's open this up. Look at that right away. Can you see where it says Kate Spade? There it is, Kate Spade, New York. Really sweet, polished, gold tone bangle bracelet. It is showing some light wear, not too bad though. It's definitely got some life left in it. And I just had some earrings recently. I can't remember if that was a Goodwill blue box or if it was a thread up box, but the earrings were bows like this, but they had crystals on them. And I believe the style name was Take a Bow instead of Take a Bow. <laughs> so I'll have to look this up. I definitely do plan on listing it though. Let's keep it going. Got another bag I'm pulling out. Looks like a pair of earrings. Great looking pair of earrings in gold tone. And I believe these are real pearls. And I hope the camera can pick this up. They have a beautiful iridescence to them. There are also some pearls on the ear itself or on the, I should say, the round ribbon-like setting here. There are some crystals and pearls on that. Let me turn these over. The feel of the earring is great. They feel really well made. It's got a great uh, weight to it. They're not an inexpensively made pair of earrings, but I am not seeing any sort of mark on these. I took off the back of the earring just to get a closer look at the post and I still don't see a mark. Let's try the magnet and see how the magnet acts with the metal. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be any attraction between the magnet and the metal. So the next thing I'm gonna do is give these a test after the video. Put on the screen right here whether or not I found them to be precious metal or not. This is a very sweet pair of earrings. Perfect for a night out. Would be great to wear to a wedding. I'll be listing these for sure. Here comes the next item. Let's open it up. I'm looking at well, it looks like two bangles. Let's see. That's exactly what we have. Two bracelets from Alex and Ani. And you can probably see the little Alex and Ani tag right there. They have a textured, twisted design. 
on the bangle. Here they are on my arm. I really like the simplicity of these. I am definitely going to be listing these. We still have a few more pieces to go. Here comes the next bag. This looks like a necklace. Let's dump this out onto the table. This is a very sweet, delicate piece. We have a gold tone chain and these cute little shiny discs on each side of this pendant, which is faceted, and I'm pretty sure that's blue lace agate. And surrounding the agate are little tiny clear crystals, or could they be diamonds? <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to see. I wanna show you the pendant up close, so here that is, and then also you can see the little dangles on the side and the delicate chain. And let's go up the necklace and take a look to see I see a jewelry tag on there. There is a Melanie Auld jewelry tag hanging off and a lobster clasp closure. This looks like a really well-made piece. I am going to check to see what the magnet does and it looks like there is no attraction. Now I'm going to check for any jewelry marks. First I'm going to turn the pendant over and see if I can find any stamp and I am not seeing one. Next, I'm checking the lobster clasp to see if I can find any sort of stamp, like a 925 or a, any kind of gold stamp. I don't see one on this side. I'm gonna turn this over, and I am checking carefully on this side as well, and I do not see a jewelry stamp. I'm super curious to know what those stones might be around that pendant. So I brought out the diamond tester. This is a diamond selector too. And I do have a link to this down in my affiliate links. I do get a teeny tiny commission if you do buy one through my link. But we're gonna use this right now and see if those little stones could be diamonds. So what we're gonna do is try to touch this little detector here, this little needle onto the stone directly and if it's a diamond it will beep and go and light up red and I'll show you what that looks like if it is. Let's see. So it looks like we have diamonds. Well I didn't expect that. We have a diamond necklace. I love this tool. I do have a video on how to use it and I will link it down in the description box. I am going to test the metal content on this piece and since there are diamonds surrounding that pendant, I'm guessing that at the very least it's gold filled. But I'm putting on the screen right here the results of that test. I'm going to look further into this designer, Melanie Auld, and I will figure out a price point to list this piece. This piece makes me happy and so far I'm pretty happy with this box. And there is a bag with I can't tell if those are earrings. Yes, those are earrings. Let's dump the bag out. This is a pair of silver tone earrings. There are graduated lengths of chains and this is a dash and dot chain. Here's what it looks like up close. And when I laid them out on the table, they have a slinky feel to them. They're extremely shiny and there is a fish hook ear wire. I'm curious to see what this magnet does, the metal. The magnet is not attracted to the bottom part, but as you can see, the connector, is that the connector or the ear wire? Let me see here. It looks like the ear wire definitely is not sterling silver. This is an attractive pair of earrings. They're different and they're super slinky. Here is the next bag that looks like a necklace. This is a caged pendant. There is a clear lucite egg-shaped bead in there. It's topped with this ribbon or bow here. You can see it better in this shot. As you can see also, there is a rope gold tone chain. Let's pull this necklace all the way down here. It's pretty long. I'd say it's about 30 inches long. And look what we have. This is a Joan Rivers necklace. Of course, you see the spring clasp on there as well. This is a really sweet piece. I'm really happy to have found Joan Rivers in this box. I don't find Joan Rivers very often. 
Off the top of my head, I will probably list this for between $25 to $35. I always research first, though, before I decide on a listing price. Super happy with this one. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. There are two more pieces left, and here's one of them, a necklace. Let's open this up. Well, the first thing I notice is this gorgeous faceted stone, triangular shape. This stone is labradorite. This is set in a gold tone metal and see how delicate this chain is. Here is a better look at that chain. And whoops, looks like it's adjustable. There are a few rings there that you can attach that lobster clasp to. Now, I don't see any jewelry mark on this. However, I am seeing that this lobster clasp has a stamp, 925. The stamp you can see both on the body of the lobster clasp and the little mouth, or I call it a claw, also is stamped with 925. Let's turn it over. And that side is not stamped, just the first side. The next order of business is to check the metal to see if there's an attraction with the magnet and there isn't. So now it's time to check your screen to see what I found out with my precious metal test. And I'm actually very happy with this sweet little necklace, Labradorite pendant, very cute, very feminine. I will be listing this one. Even though this is a 15 piece box, this is piece number 16. So let's see what is in this bag for the final piece. This is a cuff bracelet, a silver tone cuff bracelet with a very pretty twist design. There is like a rope going around a more solid, shiny uh, twist. How's that for a description? <laughs> Next, I'm going to immediately bring out my magnet because this just screams sterling silver to me. And there is no attraction. I'm going to look closely to see if I can find any kind of stamp. And let's look. I am not seeing anything. I am going to test this after the video is over. I'm gonna put on the screen right here the result of the test to see if it was sterling silver or not. Here is what the bracelet looks like on. It's not too thin, but it's definitely not too heavy. It's very well made and it looks almost brand new. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this box. Let me know by leaving a comment down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. That'll let me know to make more videos just like this. And if you love mystery jewelry box unboxings, check out those two videos on the left side of your screen. Fred and I say thanks for coming in for another video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Say bye.